there are several kinds of risk management. And the kind that I think we hear about most frequently is in business, uh, in investing, that kind of thing. But risk management, how much, how we go about managing our risk, applies to a lot of areas of life. And that's what I wanted to chat with you about for a few minutes. When we decide to put our seatbelt on when we're only driving a couple blocks, or when we choose to ride a bicycle with or without a helmet, or when we decide to put a rubber band around our pant leg when we're on a bicycle so it doesn't get caught in the chain. Uh, all of those things are ways that we manage risk. In order to be most safe physically, generally it's better to stay at home. And it's better to have a cement bunker as a home than a home with wooden or glass walls or, or that kind of thing. If physical safety is number one in, in your uh, level of what's important to you, if that's what's number one, then a bunker deep in the ground uh, with lots of padding on the walls and the floor, that would be your safest bet. Much less safe would be dangerous sports that so many people enjoy. Uh, paragliding, downhill skiing, backcountry skiing, rock climbing, parachuting, uh, riding a motorcycle really fast, or texting while you drive. All of those things are very high risk. And it is up to you, it has been up to you for many years, to make many of these choices. And every so often, others will give you advice and say, hey, you know, you should probably wear a helmet because if you crash on that bicycle or that motorcycle, you could really hurt your head. Uh, hey, it's, it's probably not smart to get really drunk and drive your car around. You're increasing the risk, the probability of something really bad happening to you or to someone else. And then we have to think and say, is it worth the risk of going to the grocery store? Somebody could run into me. I could run into somebody else. I could just accidentally, I could mess up and I could cause someone else to die. What's the probability that that's going to happen? What is it? Uh, what's the probability that I'm going to get hurt? And so that's something that as free human beings, as adults, as, as responsible people, we consider all of these risks and we develop a, uh, a risk level uh, that we're okay with, that's, that's right for our life. And sometimes other people have risk tolerance that is different than ours. Uh, a friend of mine uh, went skiing in Europe with his wife and somebody came barreling down the ski hill and ran into her and really messed her up horribly. A couple of years on the mend. I mean, really down and out. Very dangerous. And the guy that ran into her on the ski hill uh, made a choice. Uh, he made a choice to go out skiing and go on a hill downhill really fast and she made the choice to do that and because they both made that decision yeah every so often bad things are going to happen and i hate it when they happen to people that i care about and in this case it was somebody i cared about so that was that was very sad however they both made that choice and it happened and it is tempting as as a person that cares it is tempting for me to try to decide for other people what they should do. It's tempting for me to say, you shouldn't be allowed to downhill ski. It's simply too dangerous. Riding bicycles on rocky, dirt-covered roads or trails, that's dangerous. We should not allow that. And I know that your argument is that you just want to have fun and live your life as a free person, that old-fashioned idea and that you know you if you do fall and wreck you're only going to hurt yourself well, that's not always the case bicycles can crash into other people skiers can crash into other people and so as we each evaluate our risk we have to decide what are we going to do with this at what point do i go out and either initiate violence or force by stopping somebody physically from riding a bicycle down a trail because i'm worried that they might hurt themselves or they might hurt an innocent person who's just trying to walk their dog. At what point would I be able to initiate that force against someone? I mean, what do you think? And if you think there is a point that it's okay 
for me to preemptively stop someone else from making a, a, a choice that they want to make about what level of risk they want to have, then I guess if you think I can do it, it'd probably be okay if I could delegate that right to use force against them. Like if I could get a few other people and say, hey, I, I have to go on break. Please stand here at the trailhead, and if anybody comes on a bicycle, grab them and stop them and use force against them. I guess that would work, but it, it seems to me that, that maybe we should say that whoever owns a property should be able to make the decision there. So if you own a trail, you own a ranch, and there's a trail on it, you should get to choose who can who can do what on your property. Are bicycle riders allowed, or are they not allowed? Um, do you let people come into your house that have chicken pox, or is that too much of a risk? It seems to me that it's kind of dangerous to say that the whole world, all places, places where a lot of people go, places that are private that allow other people to go there, that 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 I could say, or, or my friends and I, the 51%, could say that nobody with chicken pox can go anywhere, and nobody that's healthy can go anywhere. We all have to just play it safe and stay inside a padded room so that nobody gets hurt. I 100% agree that there are a lot of dangerous things in this world. But is it really worth staying in the padded room? And if it's a principle that we let our neighbors make their own choices, principles aren't something we can change just because we're really, really scared or, or there are a lot of bicycle wrecks and it's really dangerous in our minds right now. Principles are things that we stick by no matter what. And so if I have the principle that the world can be a dangerous place, you can get hit by bicycles, skiers, people with chicken pox, all kinds of dangers out there. And if you go out into the world, if you go off of your property, there's a risk of that stuff. And if you want to protect yourself, feel free to go skiing and wear a helmet. Wear padding in case somebody runs into you. Uh, encourage people to go slowly, but never initiating force. It seems to me like that would be a good way to have society run. And if society doesn't run itself that way, if, if this collection of individuals, if we don't run our lives this way, then it opens up the possibility that another group of people will come and start using force against us and telling us that we have to stay in our houses, in our padded houses, to be very, very safe. Is that okay, morally, to force someone else to live by my preferred risk level? It seems to me that, that that's kind of wrong. That's wrong as a human being. And no matter how much somebody is worried that a bicyclist might hit me and hurt me, or that I might hit someone else when I'm on my bicycle, no matter how frightened they are, no matter how petrified they are, no matter how real the threat is, shouldn't that be my choice? To manage my risk? If it isn't my choice, how do you decide where that line is that I am no longer allowed to manage my own risk? Risk is no longer my, my choice. It is now your choice or the 51% because we know that the, the majority is never wrong, which is why democracy is such a great idea. It, should we just let the majority decide, eh, eh, look, looks like this is it? Or should we put one person in charge or a smaller group of people in charge that are really, 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 really smart? Like we know that the best people in the world, whatever area they're in, they all gravitate to large bureaucracies. They, they want to be government employees because those are, that's the cream of the crop. That's where you make the most money. That's where you can do the most good. You can be the most creative and, and innovative. So we know that the best of the best of the best human beings do tend to gravitate toward large bureaucratic organizations. So do we trust those people? I don't know. I, I'll tell you that for, for my preference, my preference is that you get to manage your risk and I get to manage my risk and I will not tell you what to do. You do your thing, I'll do mine live and let live. You're an individual. I'm an individual. Do your thing. That's my principle.
not going to force it upon you, but that's my principle. <laughs>